James Randi, magician, skeptic, and paranormal debunker, dies at 92. In the U.S., James Randi, sorry, James Randi, the famed magician known as the Amazing Randi and scientific investigator who exposed fraudulent and paranormal occurrences, uh, fraudulent paranormal and occult occurrences, passed away at the age of 92. The James Randi, Randi Foundation announced his passing from age-related causes on Tuesday, October 20th. Born Randall James Hamilton um, Zinge, in 1928, Randy co-founded the Committee for Skeptical Inquiry and founded the James Randy Educational Foundation, organizations dedicated to the promotion of scientific inquiry and education, critical thinking, reasoning, and the debunking of pseudoscientific claims. Randy was survived by his husband, Devi Or Orangel Peña Artegia, and will be remembered as a legend of the skeptical movement. I hope most people know about the legend this man was. This guy, this guy had exposed so much woo stupidity and so many like superstitious cons. Like this guy was huge. This guy was over the news. So many people were exposed out of their cons, out of uh, taking money like home like this guy was one of the leading figures to show how stupid homeopathy was uh, they had this undercover like with mi microphones and i don't know did you guys see that documentary when they went inside the church when they were uh, tricking people into think that they're doing miracles and they exposed them uh, he like the people that were uh, a lot of people believe that they were bending spoons with their eyes he mm -hmm. exposed them like it was he this there was an era where this guy is like he's, he was like the hero of all the people that were uh, of the skeptic community right when back when the skeptic community wasn't insane uh this guy was like their hero right and and he, he deservedly so like he did so much it to make actually exposing the woo i don't know i'm gonna say the woo fuckery of a lot of these organizations um he he didn't just expose them he made their ex exposing of them so entertaining um and his i saw i he there was a documentary about him and i was like he himself like was there when i when they were showing the documentary so i got i got to watch the documentary uh, of james randy with james randy himself so I got to do that. That was so much fun. Um, but yeah, guys, like I wish more people knew him. He's been highlighted in so many different books, even in The Magic of Reality by Richard Dawkins. There's a uh, there's an image of him in that book. Oh, my God. Where is that? Where is my book? Uh, but do, what do you guys what do you guys know about him? Like, were you familiar with him? Would you guys know his work? I'm going to go find that book. I, I was familiar with him. Um, not, I, unfortunately, I never got to meet him like uh, other people did. But I am familiar with his, like, you know, debunking um, woo, and with him being such, you know, sort of a um, venerated figure amongst um, the skeptics, and and what an amazing, you know, interesting guy he was, and the magic stuff too. I, I remember about that probably that was my introduction to it. I think I knew him about the magic stuff before mm -hmm. the magician stuff before I knew about the any of the other this stuff. This is Richard Dawkins' The Magic of Reality. Really good book. Go get it. And this here, this is James Randi. Oh, it's so cute. Otherwise known as the amazing Randy. Um, and oh, actually, we didn't mention the most famous thing about him. Thank you guys for in the live chat for reminding me who was this? Um, where is it? The person, the million dollar. I saw somebody highlighting that. Oh, uh, he had one yeah, million dollars put aside to anyone who could prove anything paranormal. So that was a big part of what his, yeah. um, uh, organizations did was provide funding for people who claimed to have supernatural powers, psychic abilities, and um, all sorts of um, fraudulent claims to come forward. And he's like, awesome, let's test this. And he would put their claims through the scientific method. And he, it was a TV show 
for some time. And I think that's an amazing way to promote the scientific method. And um, he will, I, I used to watch his videos in my neuroscience classes that I taught. I, we would show his work um, and to help promote the idea of um, the scientific method. And um, he'll, he'll be missed. And also reading these um, obituaries of him was how I discovered that he was gay. I didn't actually know that. Um, so that was kind of interesting to me. Like, I don't know, maybe that's me being a little bit tribal. <laughs> but I'm like, yay, yeah, my yeah. people. <laughs> yeah. Okay, actually, uh, the documentary that I watched of him when he was there, um, th there was the, the one of the first things that he did that less pe more people know about this million dollar challenge that he has there for anybody to come just collect a million dollar um, if they could prove to a series of judges that anything paranormal and ma a lot of people tried nobody managed to collect that million dollars okay uh, because there was they provided zero proof that what they were doing was um, actually paranormal right mm -hmm. um, which was such an effective way of showing that uh, this is all bull crap. But one of the first things uh, he did against paranormal before, like after, like first he was a magician, but then he got interested in uh, going after paranormal uh, crap. Um, was he had this? I think it was in India. I think he was in India, but I'm not sure. But there was this person that they turned he he, he turned into a guru. Okay, uh, for people to come and follow him as a spiritual leader. To show them how easy it is to fake this crap. And he gained a following and people started worshipping him. People started believing that he could do miracles. And then um, they exposed to the whole people, to this following, that this was a cult. That you all been duped. Even after they told them some of them didn't believe. They still feel like, no, you're a good, you know, no, you're, a, you're, a, you're our spiritual leader. But he, I remember that yeah. now that you're bringing this up. Yeah, it was amazing. That was so amazing. Go, go watch his documentary. That was in the documentary. And he kept telling them, like, no, guys, this was all a scam. And people who were following this guru, they couldn't believe that this is a scam, right? But the whole point was, like, look how easy it is to fool you people. Like, all of this was mm -hmm. a scam. Um, and guess what? You know, you, you're saying he's gay. That person that was the fake guru is the person that he fell in love with. So the person that he turned into a guru. Oh. And they lived with each other ever since that first project. Oh. They, until the very end, they were together. Um, yeah. By the way, I have a video with James Ramsey that I didn't... A lot, I saw a lot of people posting their pictures with James Ramsey. And I wanted to share my video with him. Because he got me to tie his hands, right? And I was like, nah, maybe that's like using his death to bring like, hey, look at me, that kind of situation. So I, why do you guys policy on that? Because I really was, I was so tempted. Like, I saw people sharing their pictures with James Ramsey. I was like, oh, I want to share my video with him. But I thought like, that's not good. I I'm don't just... think so, Armin. I mean, that's the thing. When, 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 when people die, you want to remember them and you have a personal memory of him and it, it brings him to life for other people and it's a way to, to, um, honor him and to yeah i don't think there's anything wrong with it i mean it's like when you people tell stories about the person at a funeral or you know no i don't think there's anything wrong with that oh really okay let me sh should i show it to you guys now all right i'm fine with it hold on no it's okay i'll just share it just uh follow follow me on f my own personal facebook link in the description i'm going to find it later and i'm going to share my video with it basically what happened was he's doing he was doing a magic trick uh and what happened was that he asked me to tie his hand so he could show everybody how he's going to get out of it but anyways mm -hmm. i got to tie him down <laughs> so that was cool <laughs> all right um oh yeah riff cup hold on let me unmute you. oh no no i'm just saying i gotta go uh, check on my dog. I'll be oh, right yeah. back. Yeah, okay. No worries. All right. So that was uh, anything we need to highlight in the comment section? Uh, Susie? I don't think so. Just, you know, like, may his undying, you know, impetus for rationality, you know, live on through us. You know, a lot of people I saw in the live chat saying that, oh, I didn't know about him, but now I'm going to go learn about him. There's you, you, a treasure trove on YouTube. Do a deep yeah, dive. 
yeah, there's so much. You you will not be disappointed. You will no. be entertained. If you like people, if you like your skepticism with the dose of entertainment and watching other people's uh, nonsense getting taken down in the most in interesting way, you're not going to get disappointed. Go look for James Ramsey on YouTube. There's so much good stuff there. Yeah, and he was so kind and funny. Yeah, he was. He was very sweet. Thank you for joining us. Subscribe to our channel. Hit the bell thingy. If you haven't, I don't know why, what has, what's holding you back, okay? If you haven't subscribed to our channel, why haven't you subscribed to our channel? Explain that to us, please. Like, bell, <laughs> and also, if, you, if you're not getting notifications and stuff because YouTube is not telling people that we have shows because YouTube is like, oh, this person told us that they want to get your shows, right? They want to get your videos, but nah, you, we think is no. And oh, look, oh, they also hit the bell button, but nah, you guys are too controversial. We want to show them mainstream stuff. We want to show them CNN or cat videos or whatever. But even there are people are like, no, we want to see Atheist Republic. And YouTube is like, no, nah, we don't think you want this. They're like, no, please show it to us. We say to you, we want to see Atheist Republic. And YouTube is like, no, we think we know what's better for you than you yourself. So to solve that, Link, there's a link in the description, uh, which is to our newsletter. So hopefully some of our, we could email it to you. So hopefully you get some of our content that way. Okay. So yeah, subscribe to our newsletter as well and share, share our videos because you know, we do get demonetized. That's an obvious on every one of our videos. So F that, but we don't care about <laughs> that anymore, but we also get deprioritized and that's even more damaging to us. Deprioritized. What does that mean? That means we're not, we don't show up on the suggested, you know, videos on the right and all that, you know, on the, on people's homepages. And that's how channels grow. Unfortunately we can't grow. So we need you guys to share our videos. 